getting a late start to the vlog this week. Um, I didn't film Monday because my boyfriend was home, so we just had like a chill day together. And then yesterday it was just a bad day. Um, mentally for me today is I feel the same you can probably tell from just I'm finding it really hard to even put a sentence together right now <laughs> just finding it hard being on my own such long periods of time in this flat I thought maybe putting some makeup on might make me feel a bit more a bit better but it's a bit stupid really isn't it Gives me so much to do, I guess. <sighs> I need a scarf. <sighs> this mascara is terrible. It's the Model Co Power Lash one. And it is. Ugh, what was that? Just fell out of it. Disgusting. I'm literally gonna throw this away. It's rancid. I'm gonna try out a different bronzer as well. This Morphe one. Glitter glitterati. Glitterati. Looks like that. Obviously using the matte. I mean, does it even put anything on my face? Doesn't look like it. You're going to be getting a real honest review on things today because I'm in a bad mood. Literally, I can't even see if it's putting anything on my face. It doesn't look like it. Wow. Wow, and this literally is a contour as well. Bronzer and contour, so obviously the matte is the contour. Which is what I'm trying to use it for. But nothing's happening on my face. And I'm very pale as you can see, so usually bronzers doesn't take a lot. But this just looks awful. So that's great some blush on today because I look like a ghost because contour just didn't want to do nothing so I may as well add some other colour to my face I guess this is the Clinique chubby stick one for highlight I'm using the sleek Sol solstice palette um, this is like my all time favourite highlighting palette I usually go for this like purple one up here but I'm gonna go for this called the cream one which I've never used before so let's try it out I guess I don't really know how I feel about a cream highlighter like what are you supposed to apply it with because I feel like there's not much happening on my brush oh actually something's going on Okay, well, it's very subtle, and I'm like ramming my oh, whoops, <laughs> ramming my brush in. Oh, I've buggered this up now. I put too much on. And you can see my nose highlight. Lighting's really crappy in here. I probably should turn that top light off because it's yellow. Yeah, that cream one's probably my least favorite highlighter in this. 
palette but the other ones are like amazing this one and this one are like my favorites this is a really good highlighting palette ew what's going on with everything i'm gonna take another name off the board everyone who came to my baby shower had a had a guess at the name so um this week the name i'm going to be taking off is sansa so uh sorry matt <laughs> her name is not sansa although i like where you were going with the the game of thrones thought process I know I look like a real spud, but I'm just vlogging this because I'm having some really strange sensations <laughs> in my pelvic area. Um, if you watched my last weekly vlog, um, I look really awful at this angle, um, then you'll know... Ugh, that her head was halfway like engaged don't know if it's just because she's moving down there that's probably what it is and it's just making like pressure it just feels really weird and uncomfortable so I'll stop now yeah so i just thought i'd vlog because obviously this is pregnancy vlog and you know labour is in it what's the word imminent is that how you say it I don't know I'm in a much better mood than what I was this morning um I still still keeping that in just because that's the reality of pregnancy um i think it's probably hormone related um i struggled with hormones at the very beginning of my pregnancy like um if i get hormonal i don't get like teary or angry i get like depressed so it seems like that's happening again now I'm at the end she stopped moving now all those feelings have stopped now that I'm filming farm girl flowers so I'm about to open them um we're just doing some stuff for council list time I look great Have your fingers crossed for me. Twenty properties. What do you reckon? How many are local? Two? One? There was only one last week. See, some of them I don't know where... They are. I think that one's too far away. <sighs> wow, well, I haven't found one yet. Possibly one. Possibly, possibly. Two bedroom bungalow, ground floor. Why does everything have electric storage heating? It's so crap. Pets allowed with one, pets allowed with permission. 
I don't know if it's a bit on it or not. So I'm gonna message. I'm gonna message Jamie because I don't know if it's a bit on it or not. Because it's saying we're number one. So. <laughs> I wanna check. Because this is not the area that we wanna live in. But. You know. It's an opportunity. Because it looks like a nice area, to be honest. Because it looks like it's in like a cul-de-sac type of place. Trying to sort myself out. I just woke up from a nap. Um, sorry, messaging my cousin. I shouldn't have started filming if I wasn't ready to talk. Um, I'm just vlogging because I just felt something happen. It could just be normal things. If you haven't been pregnant then you're not going to understand a thing I'm saying. I've got a line for my glasses. Um, it could just be normal. It could be my plug. Um, it's probably nothing. I'm gonna go to the toilet. But I did feel something happen down there, and I almost don't want to stand up. Uh, just a warning: this next clip includes like TMI, so this is your warning. <laughs> so maybe do the double tap where you skip ahead like 10, 20 seconds. Um, so I'm back from the toilet, and you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the sitch was. Um, it could just be like... What is that? Yeah. Um, it could be the start of um, my plug or the show, whatever you want to call it. Um, because I know that some women do lose theirs like gradually. Um, bit by bit um but then again it could just sort of be normal stuff <laughs> um but there's like a lot more than usual um i said this was going to be tmi i had to change my liner which i never usually have to do and I literally like, I felt it exit my body. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. Guess I'll just keep my eye on that. And yeah, sorry for the grossness, but this is the reality. You know, something no one tells you about pregnancy is you will need to use more feminine hygiene products during pregnancy than when you're not pregnant. Isn't that like some kind of like sick joke? In the car as you can see, hopefully we won't hit it this time like we did last Friday. <laughs> um, just go into B&M. So I feel like getting out today, but also I want to see if I can find a couple of bits that I need for my hospital bag, because I really would like that to be done. <laughs> um, I don't even know how much more or less I've got to do. Um, yeah, so a dressing gown is really sort of at the top of my list. Um, I only want like a cheap one, obviously, because it might be getting bit minging but I just want something to sort of cover myself have some dignity as much as I can get <laughs> um, I wanted like a thin one because hospitals are usually really hot but of course now we're going into like autumn all the shops are just bringing out their like winter stuff like you know the big fluffy fleecy ones which is not really what I want 
Plus they're really expensive, so I'm gonna go to P&M and see if they've got a cheap one. Um, I might just have to settle for like a kind of thick one, but if it's cheap, I don't really care. Um, and probably some like, either like slippers or sort of slip on shoes that I could wear around the hospital. Um, sorry if you can hear the rain, it's a really gloomy day today, I love it, I'm excited, I'm, I'm like ready for Christmas. Um, and also I really want to try and find some um, like LED tea lights, I've just literally had a light bulb moment that my cousin might have some. Um, yeah, I don't really know where I could find those. I thought B and M was probably like my best bet. Um, and if they don't have any B and M, there is a proper job here as well, so I might have a look in there. But I've like I've literally just had thought about my if I can't find any today, then my cousin might have some. She tends to have knickknacks like that. Um, if not, it's like not the end of the world, but. Wow, I visibility is low right now. I really wish this person in front put their lights on. Yeah, but I just want those candles um, because as part of like my hypno birthing course, um, such like a massive part of it is trying to make sure you're as relaxed as possible. And um, especially as I'm going into hospital. Oh my god, I have to start shouting. Because I'm going into hospital, obviously that's not a relaxing environment, at least, especially not for me. I really don't like any kind of medical, like, I don't know, anything medical, even if it's like the dentist, opticians, like anything medical related doctors surgeries they just make me really anxious <laughs> so um i want to try and make the space as nice for me as possible so yesterday you saw me um looking at that two bed bungalow that we were uh, in position one for and i didn't know whether to bid or not because of the location blah blah anyway bid on it and then when my partner got home from work, he was like, oh, let's go and have a look at it, because why not? So we did. And, uh, well, there was sort of like, because it's empty, there's no one in there. Um, sort of like mixed, mixed feelings. Um, it does need, a, it did need like a lot of TLC. It's a bit run down to say the least, but at the same time it's a two bed which is what we really need um it's in like a housing estate so which is really what we want because we want jamie's son to literally just be able to like go outside and play um and not have to worry about roads and stuff um and there was kids like everywhere all around that state there were just kids everywhere so that was perfect because he needs to be able to like go out and you know make friends and stuff and it was like notched in a housing estate, but it was like in a cul-de-sac as well, which is like my dream to live in a cul-de-sac. And there was like off-road parking for two cars, a garden, but it wasn't grass, which is ideal because it's less maintenance. And it had decking in that. The garden was like run down, but it could be really nice. And uh, yeah, it had like decking and stuff. And then we looked through the window the kitchen like was decent sized it was a bit like you know the decor wasn't great but that's what you expect from a council property but yeah so we sort of like got really really excited about it in the end and then when we came home we logged back into the council like thing because my partner just wanted to have a look at it and it said, you are now position two. So that was really disappointing. I can 
only assume that someone else bid on it that is, you know, seen as more needy than us. Um, the fact that it's a ground floor bungalow makes me feel like it's probably someone who needs like mobility access, like for a wheelchair or something, which is obviously understandable, but it is like really frustrating and disappointing for us because each week is like we're so close. Like we'll be like position two or whatever, and then just nothing ever, nothing ever happens. So it's getting a little bit frustrating. I don't really. There are a lot of factors as to why where we live now is not suitable or ideal. But I don't really feel like comfortable going into details whilst we're still living there. So maybe once we've moved, I will chat more about it because oh, I, I have some stories I could tell. Glad this week's over because as you've seen, I've not been in a great mood this week. It's only been towards the end of the week that I've got back to my normal self. So yeah, I may get back to you with like a B&M haul. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I just got back and I'll show you what I got from b and um, Just some Warburton's rolls because we're going to have burgers later. Um, some aloe vera gel because this is good um, to make like frozen maternity pads. Like just put some of this on the pad and freeze it for after labor uh some nail polish remover because my nails are getting all like chipped and i just want to take it off now and put a new color on some slippers just for walking around the hospital like i said um i just wanted some plain plain ones to be honest uh they didn't have any dressing gowns which i find really bizarre like how can you not sell dressing gowns? You sell literally everything else, like pajamas, slippers, loungewear, no dressing gowns. And I went to uh, I went to Sainsbury's afterwards, and they had they had the exact kind I want, like that really thin material. But it they, it was tw they had one, and it was twenty pounds. I ain't paying twenty pounds for a dressing gown that is gonna get like milk all over it, baby sick all over it. Um. Anyway, B and M. I said that I wanted to get some LED tea lights and I looked in the candle section, I looked in the electrical section, they didn't have any LED tea lights. They had like LED pillar candles, but they were like really expensive because they were big and they were remote controlled and that's just not what I need. So I sort of gave up, I was quite surprised they didn't have any actually. Um, and then I went to queue up and what do I see out of the corner of my eye? some Halloween themed tea lights for £2.50 so yeah I mean I've got them I guess what I they're gonna do the job I need them to do so I can't really complain and it probably will be October time at least I'll be very festive <laughs> um but yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here because I'm not gonna do anything for the rest of the day other than um watch some films and get my little brother from school. So if you like this video then make sure you subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram at Beth Bevan 111 and I will see you very soon. Bye!